Hey guys, Joe here with another setup guide, and today we're going to be setting up P2P on our Elite Recorder. If you are setting up P2P on a Seabell Recorder, be advised we have a different video for that. A link to that video can be found in the description at the bottom of the page. So first, what is P2P? Well, P2P is a method of networking called peer-to-peer -peer that allows your recorder and your device, such as a smartphone or computer, to communicate with each other using an authentication server. It's extremely secure and it's a very easy way to get remote viewing set up for your recorder. Before we get started though, there's going to be some things we need to check out, so why don't we go ahead and take a look at our introductory setup checklist. First, make sure the recorder is powered on and you can see your cameras on the local display. Next, make sure there's an Ethernet cable firmly connected to the LAN port on your recorder. If you're using a recorder with more than one LAN port, use LAN port number one. Also, make sure that same cable is firmly connected to a port supplying internet on your router. It's important to know that you shouldn't try to use any PoE ports for this setup. Many recorders have a group of onboard PoE ports. Those ports are for cameras only. We're also going to need a PC connected to the same router as the recorder, either by Ethernet or by Wi-Fi. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is log into the recorder. We can do this by right-clicking anywhere on the screen and clicking Main Menu. You can use your login pattern, but keep in mind you're going to need to know the username and password for the recorder later when adding this device to a phone or to a computer. Once we're logged in, we need to get to the Network menu, which can be found at the bottom of the screen. Click Network and notice that it puts us directly into the TCP IP tab. We need to be in P2P, so let's go ahead and click that tab. Take note of the QR code and the number you see under Device SN. We're gonna need that later when adding this to a phone or computer, but for now, we just need to click Enable on the slider. We're gonna go down and click Apply down here, and keep in mind that we may not see the status right away change to Online, all we have to do is refresh the page. Simply click any other page on the tab and go back to the P2P tab. You'll see now that our status has changed to online and P2P is up and running. Awesome, P2P is now officially set up for your Elite Recorder. So what next? You're probably gonna wanna add that information to a smartphone or a computer so you can successfully remote view those cameras. Be sure to check out our guide on setting up P2P via either EVP, the app for iOS and Android, or Smart PSS. Links to those videos can also be found in the description at the bottom of the page. Till next time, guys, have a great one. Stay safe.